uh, as you can see this beautiful maple tree we have here um, has a couple taps in it um, that run into that five gallon container so in the um, the late winter or early springtime the the sap of the maple tree and all, all, a lot of different saps of um, plants that are coming out of their winter dormancy the sap rises from underground um, through the roots and it goes um, throughout the whole all the different um, branches and the sap is what um, brings life to all the leaves and the flowers and all that stuff so when um, when the nighttime temperatures are below freezing and the the daytime temperatures are above freezing it creates um, some sort of pump where the sap is pumped up um, through the tree and so certain um, nights certain days in one day just from one of those um, taps you can get anywhere from a gallon or two of water so right now you can see we're getting towards the end of the maple season this was a whole night and it's only gotten about a, a quart of water or something and as you can see too the water's getting yellow so maple season is over um, maple water season um, not all plants have a drinkable sap um, maple trees birch trees and walnuts i hear all have a drinkable sap um, and the birch season actually starts right now, now that the maple season's over. So, um, all maples water um, is filtered through the um, through the tree, through the carbon in the tree. You have like a natural carbon filter. Um, you will see a little particulate in the um, in the maple water, so it's not uh, like a, a, a perfect filter, um, but nonetheless. Um, the sugar maple trees are a bit sweeter um, the water actually much sweeter much sweeter and the water um, t goes it starts to ferment much quicker and even in the refrigerator it only stores about a week where uh, if you get it right from out the cold weather into the fridge um, whereas the other maples the red maples the sh uh, silver maples um, and there's other maples they um, the water is much less sweet almost to the point where it's so subtle you it tastes like regular water but then just a hint a hint of uh of sweetness but those store in the fridge for uh for um for months really and um one there's different ways to tell what's the sugar maple um one way is that the sugar maple's leaves turn yellow um in the fall very quickly and the red maples leaves you see them blossoming red right around this time so even in the spring you can know um, what what's a red maple um, so like I said at cer certain um, certain times I'll have four gallons in that container pretty much overnight like in, in one day's um, collecting the tree has veins let me see so if you can see this kind of rounded part of the tree there's one right here and then there's another one right there so those veins go go up the tree right and as you can see where that tap is it goes right along that vein so um if you put the taps on a south facing side in the northern hemisphere that's where you're getting the biggest temperature change you're going to get the most um sap flowing um some people uh say that there's a uh, uh, so some people are concerned with the bacteria in the um, in the maple water and they prefer to boil it um, which I usually don't but it does make a really good tea um, or, or just a hot drink um, if you uh, if you prefer um, mm, yeah so usually or earlier in the season I had a, a piece of plastic around there just so the bugs couldn't get in but like I'm saying now's the end of the season so what I do um, is I, I pull these out and then I'll look for a branch that's from the same tree so um, like I'm, I'm pretty I, I, I'm not sure if this is but but I'll look for a bigger branch that I know is from this tree and then so I'll take that branch and um, 
you want it to be a bit bigger than the hole that the that the tap was in and you you uh just take the bark off right and then you hammer that into the hole and that helps the tree heal up and then um if you want you can leave a, a lit a little bit sticking out so that you can remember where it was so if you do tap it next year um just because when we're tapping into the trees it is stressful to the trees and um just to be respectful um of the trees like I, I might go certain years where i won't tap i uh, tap certain trees like this year this tree i didn't tap the last year or maybe two um so that um that would just be another um something i would like to say and other than that uh just stay tuned see you soon peace